Hey guys, my name is Jacob Dickinson, and let me just first off say, wow. Uh, I, you know, my first video was just the pedal board run through, and I was just expecting for maybe 10 people to see it. Uh, it was, it was more for you know, just maybe some of the volunteers that we have, and maybe some, some of my friends would see it. Uh, but as of recording, there was like 2,000 of y'all that saw it, uh, and let me just say thank you. Um, I'd love to do more content like this and I'd love to just spread the knowledge that I've learned over the years of diving into this, probably just like overly compulsive, dived into pedals and stones and stuff like that. But I'd love to share that knowledge with y'all uh, and also the heart behind it. And so I'd love to make more videos like this uh, in the future. Uh, and so I'm making one now and I'd like to just kind of go in more detail of like the guitar I'm playing and amp settings and this will be pretty short but stuff like that. Uh, so let's start with the guitar. This is a Squire. Yes, it is a Squire Offset Telecaster, part of their Paranormal series. I've always been someone that's like, all right, let me do something that not everyone has. Uh, hence why I don't have all the Strymon stuff on there. But um, Squire has been killing it lately, especially their Classic Vibe series and Up. Uh, you know, if you're willing to pay. But I got this from Sweetwater and, and uh, they, I think they were having a deal, it was like 45% off or something like that. So I only paid like 250 bucks for this, uh, which is a great deal for an amazing neck. And these tuners, I haven't had any issue with them really. Uh, but really everything else is replaced. And so uh, here I have, let's see if we'll focus. I have Revel Custom Pickups. Go look them up, Revel Custom Pickups. They are amazing. I think this is a Callahan bridge. Ignore the rust. It's uh, I don't have it stored in a great place, but, and then I got this uh, B5 Bigsby uh, off reverb used, 150 bucks maybe. Uh, and then I also switched out the wiring for a uh, Obsidian, um, what is it called? Solderless wiring kit. That way, if I ever wanted to change the pickups, it's a super simple swap. Uh, and I'm loving them so far. Also, obviously I changed the pick guard. I've really kind of just built this thing and so, you know, for a custom shop guitar, playing wise, and a nice setup that I that I did on it. Also, if you have a Bigsby, this Vibramate is a life saver, saver, especially if you break strings like I do. Yeah, so I'm a big advocate for, uh, you know, get a cheap guitar and make it into your own custom shop guitar. Uh, you know, buy a cheap base model and then upgrade it. You know, you're gonna spend maybe just half the cost of what you're gonna pay for a, you know, American made custom shop, especially like Gibson custom shops are like $4,000 now. Uh, so stuff like that, you know, I maybe put a total of everything 800 bucks into this. Uh, and that's including pickups, wiring, uh, extra pick guards, the Bigsby, extra bridge, all the things. And so um, I'm, I'm always for that. And so, but yeah, let's, uh, let's walk over to the board so I just wanted to talk through the board and especially just through the wet, wet effects for this video. Uh, let's start with the delay. I'm using the Echolution 3 by Pegtronics. So I love this delay. It's uh, for its form factor, it's very small. It has MIDI in and out so I can just send a tap tempo from my MIDI controller. Uh, and it just has some awesome features. Uh, you don't need anything too crazy like the timeline or uh, you know something like the flashback would work as well but just something that uh, you can get a nice clean repeats. And let me show you how I set mine up. I'm gonna turn off the ping pong, uh, and this is just a straight up delay. I wanna set my mix to less than, let's turn it down to where it's not louder than my actual guitar. Uh, and let's just keep, let's see what the, the repeats look like right there in the middle. Uh, and see how that sounds. <laughs> It just trails off nicely, uh, and that's really what I'm looking for. Uh, and then you can, we can even switch to a uh, dotted eighth sound. And, and a lot of times for my dotted eighth sound, I might bump up the mix uh, and the repeats a little bit. That way I can get those like...
you know, stuff like that. Very rhythmic, very U2, very Coldplay kind of thing. Like, uh, that kind of thing. That's usually what I go for. But this thing can do things like, uh, you know, I set it up for a dual delay. reverb stacked on to something like that it just makes it even bigger I generally don't strum with something like that that's usually for my just high-end little picking things since I'm not really a lead player I can add little textures like that uh, that elevate the music uh, that's not distracting from whatever the lead guy's doing um, since I'm mainly I'm just trying to fill the space fill the gap whatever uh, is different uh, to add to the song and not distract from it. So there's that. That's my delay. Let's move it just back to a uh, quarter note. I'm going to turn on the ping pong, so that's what this sounds like. So simple, just back and forth. Uh, I found I like this because it doesn't really do much for in the room, but it just helps my ears just feel a little bit more wide. Uh, and so let's go through to the Revelation. I'm not going to go through the presets. I'm just going to show you all here on the Revelation by Jet Pedals. This is honestly by far my favorite reverb ever. Uh, I've had it for a couple years now and I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. It is built for worship leaders uh, by a worship guitarist. Uh, and I th believe his name is Junior over there is doing some great stuff. They have a new version of this. It's incredible. Go get this. Uh, this is also, you know, you can buy one of these used for about 200 bucks. Uh, and I love it. So I stay on this blue setting. This is the modulated setting. Uh, and this is how much the control knob is how much of that modulation is coming in. I usually keep it around here for my main sound. And then mix is just right below 12. And then decay is like right at 12 or maybe right above it uh, just a little bit. Really just going at the all knobs at noon. And well, well let's turn off the delay. That's what this sounds like. That's about all I got lead wise. <laughs> Not much, but that's just kind of my always on my sound. I keep it there uh, at all times. And then my ambient setting, uh, what I do is I move the mix up just a tiny bit. Not much. Uh, this thing's pretty sensitive. And move the decay maybe to like one o'clock and the control up a little bit. And this is my like picking ambient sound. So as you can see, it can even add to just this fullness to one note or one string lead lines, one note lead lines uh, that just adds so much energy to songs. Even if it's just a triad like. It can just bring this huge atmosphere to it. Uh, and then my third setting is my swell setting. I just keep it always on this modulated uh, reverb and I just bring the mix up and the decay right at three o'clock and the control up to noon. Uh, and that's really, I'm never gonna, you know, this is what it sounds like if I just hit a note during it.
And so I'm never really gonna do that. And I can always mayday to my preset and it'll bring the decay back down if I hit a wrong note. But uh, if I just do a swell into it, It's this beautiful, luscious, uh, just it's it's based on the cloud setting of uh, the big sky or yeah the big sky by Strymon, uh, but it's just so easy to dial in. There's not all these knobs that you have to go to. Uh, it's just this beautiful, airy, luscious thing. And I believe the the newer version of this even has a filter knob to where if you think that's too bright, you can dull it down a little bit. Uh, but let's just go back to here and I'll walk you through the also the other algorithm. So that was the mod setting. This is the shimmer setting. So with control all the way down, there's no shimmer and you can fade in some shimmer. This is it can be pretty subtle if you want it to be or it can be All out is a little bit much, but you get the point. You can make it pretty subtle, and it's a, it's a great sounding shimmer. I'm just, you know, the, it has a time in its place. Uh, also, this is what they call anti-shimmer. So uh, it does the same thing, but just down an octave. So here's it at 50%. Especially for like swells and stuff, this can be, be a really beefy tone. And so you guys get the point. Uh, super cool, but I, I just love this modulation setting. And here's the extremes of that with the control all the way up. And remember, I don't have a chorus pedal on right now, so. It's great. Uh, love it. And then lastly to the ACS-1. So what I love about this is you can run two amps simultaneously. Uh, you don't have to uh, choose a like, oh, I'm going to go with a Fender sound and that's going to be it. Also, I need to note that this is version uh, 2.0. This is a software version. So go if you have an ACS-1, go update it right now because they redid the whole amps. They redid all the cabs uh, and it is an incredible incredible pedal right now and so you can choose left and right you can choose between they call it a full full fullatron fullatron london or dartford which is fender uh blues breaker uh marshall and a vox ac30 uh, and then you have cab options you have i believe it's a alnico blue with a 57 by tone factor uh b i believe is a greenback for a for the marshall blues breaker and then C is, I believe, I could be wrong, a cream back maybe? Uh, all those on top are 57, and then you can hold the bypass, and you can change, go through all three of those speakers, but mic'd with a Royer 121. Uh, and so, let me get this set up right now. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna set up the left side to be a Fullatron, and the right side to be a AC30. The classic. Uh, so we're gonna start with the left side. We're gonna choose the, uh, since a blue is pretty bright, I'm gonna go to the Royer 121 cab uh, for the Fender uh, and go with a the 57 on a green back. I just love green backs. Honestly, they're amazing. If you only have one speaker, one option, you're running mono, green back all the way. Uh, IRs are the best, especially tone factor. Uh, and then go back to the left, let's choose Feltron, go to the right, Dartford, uh, and then put it in the middle to adjust the knobs for both of them. So volume, I'm gonna stick around here. Uh, let's move gain to around 11 o'clock. 
what is that? Is that 11 o'clock? That's about 11 o'clock. Room, let's keep it about 9 o'clock. Uh, let's move to the left. Let's do EQ per. So left side, we're going to bring the bass up a little bit. Mids around here. Mids around uh, 11 o'clock. Bass up to 1. And treble up to 1 o'clock as well. And let's go to the right side. Let's bump up the mids a little bit. Bring the bass to 12. Let's, let's, let's start off with treble up a little bit as well. Uh, and go back to the middle and see how that sounds. So that's a pretty good clean tone. But it just kind of feels flat. Uh, and so what I like to do, especially with all my drive pedals, is really push them, especially for something like this. Especially the King of Tone really compresses, and so you're able to really push it. Uh, and then I like to kind of give it some, give it some juice as well. Uh, that way this amp can breathe. <laughs> And it feels really good. It feels really good in the hands. Let's say you didn't have a good overdrive that you loved, uh, and you're like, you know what? I just I have this tone. Uh, which is not a bad tone, uh, but you're gonna need some pedals. You're gonna need some gain stages. So, but let's say you didn't have that many and you just wanted to get it from the amp. You can crank that gain up. Let's turn down the volume to match. Let's crank the gain up to like 130. And a good thing to note, because that sounds really, really, really good, but a thing to note is if I was going to do this, uh, I would put the ACS-1 before my wet effects uh, because they're going to be a little bit more clean. Since I have my amp set up right now pretty clean, uh, I'm not getting that uh, crazy distortion. I'm getting a little bit of compression, a little bit of breakup. But since I'm setting this pretty clean, uh, it's just a little bit of breakup when I really push these hard into the ACS-1. But as you turn this gain up, the more these are gonna break up. So that's just a thing to note. Um, but I'm really loving this thing, it is awesome. Uh, let me know, I'm gonna do, next I'm gonna do another video about the Stratus uh, and go through that, some of the features, show you guys the UI. It is incredible. So let me know in the comments what you would like to hear from that. Uh, and let me know if you guys have any thoughts on this. Uh, leave a comment. Make sure you like. Uh, I'd love to do more of these. And so uh, that's all.